Online transaction is also known as e-commerce transaction. It refers to all commercial transactions conducted with the aid of electronic devices. According to Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, e-commerce includes all forms of transaction relating to commercial activities involving both organization and individuals that are based upon processing and transmission of digitized data, including text, sound, and visual images. In other words, it relates to the subset of transactions conducted via internet between parties connected to each other. Since the transaction between the seller and buyer via the internet, there is a need of legal framework to protect the consumers, especially when the seller breach any term in the contract. Therefore, the law must be developed to provide consumers with protection from and rights against producers and suppliers of faulty or defective goods and services. The primary legislation governing e-commerce transactions is the Electronic Commerce Act 2006. Basically, it provides legal recognition of electronic messages in online transactions, the use of electronic messages to fulfill legal requirements and to enable and facilitate online transactions through the use of electronic means. However, with regards to the protection on consumer rights in Malaysia, the main statute is the Consumer Protection Act 1999. Consumer Protection Act 1999 Before the amendment in the year 2007, Section 2 Paragraph G of the Act does not apply to any trade transactions affected by electronic means unless otherwise prescribed by the Minister. The exclusion has been amended to include any trade transactions conducted through electronic means in order to protect the rights of the consumers. Protection given to the e-consumers are Firstly, Protection against misleading and deceptive conduct, false representation, and unfair practices. Secondly, unfair trade practices in online shopping that may include misleading price indication and deceptive advertising technique. Thirdly, guarantees as to the quality of goods and services. And lastly, protection due to unsafe product which cause injury or loss to consumers. This protection has been further strengthened recently by the Amendment of the Consumer Protection Electronic Trade Transactions Regulation 2012. One is the redress mechanism for online transaction. There is a Tribunal for Consumer Claims in Malaysia, which is an independent body established under Section 85 of the Consumer Protection Act 1999. This tribunal operates under the Ministry of Domestic Trade, Cooperative and Consumerism. Its primary objective is to provide an alternative forum for consumers to file claims in a simple, inexpensive and speedy manner. Its primary function is to hear and determine claims lodged by consumers under the Consumer Protection Act 1999. The types of claims that may be filed to the tribunals are misleading or deceptive conduct in relation to goods as to the nature, Manufacturing process, characteristics, suitability for a purpose, quality and quantity of the goods. Another example is uh, misleading or deceptive conduct in relation to services as to nature, characteristics, suitability for a purpose, quality and quantity of services. Or false or misleading representation in relation to goods. Or even claims for false or misleading representation in relation to services. The Tribunal has jurisdiction to hear any claim in respect of any matter as provided for under the Act, where the total amount claimed does not exceed 25,000 ringgit, and any claim in respect of any goods or services for which no redress mechanism is provided for under any written law, and any claim based on a cause of action which accrues within three years of the claim. However, the tribunal has no jurisdiction to hear any claim arising from personal injury or death or for the recovery of land or any estate or interest in land or for any dispute in respect of title of any land or estate or interest in land or for any dispute concerning the entitlement of a person under a will or on any intestacy or 
any dispute on matter in respect of franchise, goodwill, trade secrets or other intellectual property and where any other tribunal had been established under any other written law to hear and determine claims or matters which is the subject matter of such claims.